Red Bull confirmed what many had expected was coming on Thursday, when Ricciardo was dropped in favor of the 22-year-old Lawson. While the rest of the world was kept waiting, Lawson revealed that he knew the switch was coming two weeks ago, and that led to a bad feeling in the paddock on Sunday. As Ricciardo raced what many expect will be his last race in F1, Lawson was in the RB garage, knowing that he would replace the Australian for the next Grand Prix in Austin. He said, Not good, honestly, Singapore was definitely not an enjoyable weekend for me, just because obviously we all knew what was sort of coming. And at the same time, Daniel has always been very good to me, and in a lot of ways, when I drove last year and then even this season, he's always been somebody that I've never felt in competition with him, or anything like that. He never made it feel like that. I see Red Bull by Toro Rosso have given the chance to lots of juniors on the grid, more than any other team. They have found Vettel, Verstappen, Ricciardo, Gasly, Albin, Sainz as sounding names on the grud. But with others, they have been quite rough. Marco does a terrible job in managing RB drivers. He has done a good job of finding talent, but a better job of destroying that talent. His job is to find them, develop them, and put them in the best possible position to succeed. It's the last and most critical bit that he fails miserably. He seems to believe that putting his drivers in the most challenging circumstances and applying maximum pressure will deliver best results. Liam Lesson is the latest to be mistreated with this latest announcement. Lawson went on to say he had a huge amount of respect for how Ricciardo conducted himself at the weekend and said he knew what it was like to lose a seat due to his experience last year. He said he did a very good job on the weekend. Honestly, I have a huge amount of respect for how he dealt with everything because I can't really imagine what that was like. It's a similar position to what I was in last year, but obviously there's a lot more publicity. He is a lot more famous than I am, so he's getting a lot of questions and trying to sidestep those he did a very good job at. I think I can imagine how difficult this situation was for Lawson, but that is the world of F1 sometimes. In order to get a seat, someone has to leave. It's not a great feeling for anybody, but world championship points are everything. If Ricciardo was outperforming the car and his teammate every race weekend, no change would have been required. Unfortunately, that was not the case. I know, Daniel will land on his feet and be successful in the next phase of his life, whatever he chooses to do. For Liam, I wish him much success. He knows more than anybody how important it is for him to perform well day in day out. There were many opportunities to give him a much better chance at success in beginning his F1 career, but they choose to start him replacing a very popular driver in a very demanding market, at a demanding track, with the least amount of practice time available and knowing if he doesn't stand out, he too can be replaced. That's not setting the guy up for success.